mistake! Now what now? This isn't the secret venture compound. It's your accountant's office. What? Uh, are you kidding? That was like my best entrance ever! Well, that was excellent. Very impressive. Sucks. Go Team Venture! This is a show I've wanted to get into for a while, and finally, the opportunity to have every single episode in my hands is here. In this video, we shall be doing an unboxing of the Venture Brothers Complete Series DVD sets, which this includes all seven seasons of the show spread across 14 DVD discs, and to my surprise, this show has been going on and off for a very long time. Originally, it began airing on Adult Swim in 2004, created by Doc Hammer and Jackson Public, and having not seen the show prior to picking up this DVD set, I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. I knew a handful of the characters, and the unusual hero and supervillain kind of premise seemed fun, and being a fan of animation, just generally speaking, I like how this show is very reminiscent of older Hanna-Barbera cartoons in particular, drawing inspiration from shows such as Johnny Quest and Scooby-Doo, but with more adult themes. And ironically, Johnny Quest himself was made into a character on this show named Action Johnny. Whoa! Don't you talk about my father! But looking at the set itself, I really like how they've retained a similar style to the complete series of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, which I've reviewed on the channel, where it's compact and neatly put together with new artwork across the set itself and the discs. Once again, this complete series is releasing before an upcoming straight to Blu ray film, that being Radiant is the Blood of the Baboon Heart, which will serve as the finale to the Venture Brothers, where the show lasted for seven seasons. An eighth season was partially scripted and, of course, planned, but unfortunately was cancelled, which is very disappointing. 21, engage the Doom Cannon! Ugh, dude, we got cancelled. Forget it, it's over. But the fact that we are getting more content from this kind of show, even if it's only in the form of a straight-to-Blu-ray movie, is at least something rather than nothing. So I do very much appreciate that, even though a fully-fledged ape season would have been far more appreciated. Looking at the box set itself, loving at the artwork on this one with the scripture style, drawings, and recognizable silhouettes of certain characters and aspects of the show really does harness and capture the adventure style theme and genre the series is attempting to capture overall anyway and even though some of the artwork is simplistic i do appreciate this being brand new artwork and there's a brief description of the set itself highlighting how there's nearly 20 years worth of storytelling in this box set very impressive for sure and there is the spec for the box set, breaking down the languages, subtitle options, etc. Unfortunately, no runtime specified for the entire series. Likewise, the set is not rated, but is a Region 1 DVD box set. Removing the outer sleeve reveals the same artwork there beneath. And then opening up the actual box set itself, we have the tray of DVD discs, which is removable. I know people aren't a massive fan of these kind of trays that detach from the box set, but honestly, I think these are so much better when it comes to handling the actual discs, especially where usually nine times out of 10, for me personally, if they are connected to the box set, they end up arriving in a damaged condition. And then we also have an episode guide, which I am very thankful to have. It details obviously every single episode included in this box set across all seven seasons, along with some details in relation to the bonus features that are included. Unlike other Adult Swim shows, all seven seasons of The Venture Brothers have been released separately, and I did plan on getting those sets, especially since season three onwards did have Blu-ray releases, which leads me to my biggest gripe with this set, and that's that it doesn't have a Blu-ray option. Although seasons one and two were made in standard definition, would it really have been so much effort to upscale those seasons and make this into a Blu-ray release? Apparently that's a lot to ask, but as ever, most companies will cheap out on physical media sets unless it's a specialty label or release. Story-wise, I've only seen the first four seasons of the show thus far as of the time of recording this video, and I'm really enjoying what I've seen so far. The main draw for me is the villains. 
and I love the ongoing feud between Dr. Venture and arguably the main antagonist throughout, that being the Monarch, who serves as part of the Guild of Calamitous Intent, a league of villains set out to arch their arch enemies, where heroes and villains are paired up with one another, constantly fighting, where it's kind of played for laughs, more of a sporting love-hate kind of relationship between these characters. For the Monarch, it seems very much one-sided, where Dr. Venture really just doesn't give a shit about him and just kind of tolerates his ludicrous schemes and the situations he forces upon him. And even though he is at times a very silly villain, the Monarch has written incredibly well to be quite a complex individual, especially when supported by the brains behind his villainy, that being Dr. Girlfriend, which I really appreciate her story throughout the show thus far, portrayed as a level-headed villain who sets and understands realistic expectations. And one kind of quirk to her character, I love how the creators just decided to give her a man's voice, no specific reason why, it's just an unusual element of the character that is kind of played for laughs during awkward scenes of the show. Can I ask you a question? <sighs> yes, I belong in here, I just have a deep voice. And speaking of quirks, I love how each character is made to be unique, made apparent as the seasons continue, such as making the Venture Brothers themselves, Hank and Dean, into very distinct characters. Hank is the tougher one, and Dean is more timid, but arguably the brains between them both. And regardless, they often get caught up in various unusual predicaments. The plot twist behind the brothers genuinely blew my mind. That was a really weird ending to the first season where both brothers die? Or do they? Hmm. Season 2 answers this and a hell of a lot more. Their father, Dr. Venture, is a self-loathing middle-aged super scientist who is forced into running Venture Industries after the passing of his father, and I really enjoy his mannerisms throughout the show, especially in season one, learning that he has a brother in a very unusual way. I thought that was a very creative element of storytelling and something that did work with it being utilized as a season-long story arc. Their bodyguard Brock Samson is your typical kind of tough guy recognizably voiced by Patrick Warburton, and his character continues to evolve more than you may expect. There's a lot more to him than just being the family bodyguard, and he's very much a prominent figure in the Venture household, especially for Hank, someone that Hank idolizes. However, in season four, he steps away from the Venture family to deal with his own personal issues, which is a great storyline in itself. There are many great side characters I've come to appreciate also. Helper, the family robot, even though he doesn't really speak, he's used more as a plot device. He's still a very fun presence on screen. Dr. Orpheus is a character that I've grown to appreciate, who at first I found to be very pretentious, but now I really do appreciate him as a character who is more fleshed out and overall very helpful to the Venture family in particular. Dr. White and Billy Quizboy, I adore these characters, especially Billy, a really dark and tragic backstory behind this character, showing the loss of his hand and his eye, having no memory of how this happened. And this was all thanks to a secondary antagonist, Phantom Lim. Kind of a laughable villain at first, but over the show's progression, he does become a genuine threat. Henchmen 21 and 24 have some incredible storylines where they work for the Monarch, but slowly over the course of the seasons, they are kind of separated from that League of Villainy. With all of these elements taken into account, I'm very impressed with what I've seen from the Venture Brothers so far. I feel like I've definitely been missing out, so it feels great to catch up and actually have the complete series in one set. An advantage to having the show on DVD is the extras that are included. Season 1, in particular, is full of unique extras, such as the pilot episode, The Terrible Secrets of Turtle Bay. Although it's a weaker episode compared to the rest of the show in its current form, I do appreciate seeing the show trying to find its feet in an earlier rendition, where all the main characters are present just with some slightly kind of off-design quirks, which is to be expected. Episode commentaries are a neat inclusion also, along with some bonus episodes as well, nothing too crazy. But I liked the Christmas one in particular, which is included in the first season, which is just a little short, about 11 minutes, whereas most episodes are your standard 22 minutes with one or two extended ones as well. 
And speaking of episodes, there are a couple of personal highlights I wanted to mention from what I've seen of the show thus far. Trial of the Monarch I really enjoyed, where the Monarch goes on trial for murder, when really the Guild of Calamitous Intent is actually to blame. And oddly, Dr. Girlfriend even betrays him in favour of Phantom Limb, where they temporarily separate from one another. Past tense I really liked, delving into the past lives of Dr. Venture and his closest friends, who were surprisingly old college roommates. Their more distant mutual friend arranges to kidnap them all, however, exacting revenge on being tormented during their college days. Powerless in the Face of Death was the season 2 premiere episode where we see the monarch's life behind bars and how he tries to survive in prison. Plus, the twist with Hank and Dean, which I vaguely hinted at before, continues to unfold from the first season finale. And I'm being deliberately vague on the plot details to avoid spoiling it for newcomers because I had absolutely no idea about this plot twist, and I personally really did enjoy it. The Invisible Hand of Fate, I mentioned very briefly the outline of this plot telling the tragic backstory of Billy Quizboy. You can tell Season 4 had a much larger budget where the animation quality overall does improve and there is an increased episode count making for overall some really great storytelling potential. Handsome Ransom was an episode that I really liked which was far more comedic where the monarch fakes a kidnapping of Hank and Dean to try and get money out of Dr. Venture. After many failures, Phantom Limb seeks revenge on the guild in the Revenge Society, very much an episode focusing on the side characters, which although rare, are some of my favourite episode types from this show. And the last couple of episodes from this season were very memorable and easily personal favourites. Assisted Suicide sees Dr. Venture trying to kill himself in a sleepwalking-like state, when really he's actually being controlled by the Monarch, and I really like this, where Dr. Orpheus explores Venture's thoughts meeting his id, ego, and superego, the Freudian trio. The Silent Partners is my favourite episode from this season overall, where Billy is caught impersonating a doctor and is kidnapped by investors of his company to perform illegal surgeries. And seeing him panic over this really caught me off guard and cracked me up. And seeing the villainous character Monstroso more heavily explored in these later episodes was something that I very much enjoyed. When it comes to this DVD set, overall, it's okay for what it is. It's well packaged, it's compact. It's great to see that there are extras included, but with the level of quality behind this entire project of the Venture Brothers, it's a shame Warner did not push the boat out for a Blu-ray release. I guarantee that would have increased sales tenfold, but unfortunately... It is what it is, this is what we've got, we just have to make do, and if you're a fan of the show and you don't mind having the series on DVD, I would definitely recommend picking this set up, it's worth adding to your collection, but definitely worth waiting on, however, I would advise against paying full retail price for this. DVDs are very cheap to manufacture, and a set like this should not have a retail price of $130, kind of crazy in my opinion. For Blu-ray, I could sort of understand, but this seems really excessive for cheaper DVD manufacturing, just my opinion, but I know that has definitely been a turn-off when it comes to sales from just the general public. That's going to do it for my review looking at the complete series of The Venture Brothers on DVD. I hope you did enjoy. For those that haven't seen the show, if you enjoy animated comedies, particularly from Adult Swim, I'm sure this is something that will be worth your time to check out. When it comes to the rest of the series, I'll more than likely do a follow-up video talking about maybe the entire show in general, or a couple of individual episodes later down the line. When it comes to the finale movie, I will definitely have an unboxing slash review of that up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like down below. Let me know in the comments, have you seen this show before? What do you think of it? Do you have a favourite character? As always, I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. And for more content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios. Are you threatening me?